A new class of service apartments for longer-term stay is in the works to better meet rental demand from Singaporeans waiting to collect the keys to their new homes or for their renovations to be completed, as well as those who are here to work or study. National Development Minister Desmond Lee on November 29 announced that the government will pilot service apartments with a three-month minimum stay period to ensure that demand for longer-term stays can be met. Two sites in Upper Thompson and Zion Road will be launched in early December under the second half 2023 government land sales confirmed list, he said, at the Real Estate Developers Association of Singapore's 64th anniversary dinner held at Orchard Hotel. A portion of the gross floor area for each site will be set aside for long-stay service apartments. These could potentially yield a total of about 535 service apartments, he added. Lee noted that even as the majority of Singaporeans aspire to own homes, there has been greater diversity in the housing preferences of Singaporeans, including towards renting. We need to maintain a healthy rental supply to cater to those who need to rent, such as those waiting to collect the keys to their new homes or for their renovations to be completed or because they are in some transition. As well as those who are here to work or study, he said. While service apartments can cater to those who wish to stay in Singapore for longer, their seven-day minimum stay requirement means potential tenants, both Singaporeans and foreigners, must compete with those in Singapore for short stays. Including tourists and business travellers, he added. The long-stay service apartments to be piloted will coexist alongside shorter stay service apartments with existing seven-day minimum stay requirements. And similarly, cannot be strata subdivided for sale, Lee said. He added that the two sites under the pilot, which are located next to existing MRT stations and provide easy access to the city centre and amenities, will allow us to gauge market demand before studying if this can be implemented more widely. On the waiting time for built-to-order BTO projects, Lee said the wait for newly launched projects in 2023 will be between three and four years, including for those in the upcoming December sales exercise. This is back to pre-pandemic norms and levels and good progress from the pandemic peak of four to five years when we suffered a lot of delays. In fact, close to 70% of the flats launched in 2023 have wait times of four years or less, he said. He attributed this to the collective efforts of the Housing Board and its construction partners. Working hard, thinking out of the box, to try to shorten project waiting times, and to do it safely. These measures include breaking up larger BTO projects into smaller ones so that contractors can better manage their resources and expedite project handovers. Prioritizing for launching BTO sites where the platform level is ready for construction and piloting innovative procurement methods to shorten construction time.